Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download footage from an NVR on your network. Now, in large setups, you may have more than one NVR on a network. And in such cases, you may have a PC uh, or a server which then has Smart PSS installed. And then using Smart PSS is a more powerful utility to connect and manage an array of NVRs. So not only am I going to demonstrate how to download the video, uh, recorded videos, I'm also going to demonstrate how to add or how to find an NVR on your network. Now what you need to have is Smart PSS installed on your computer. So I'm going to launch Smart PSS so far and it asks for a username and password on the very first time and I've set it that it automatically logs in. Now this is the interface of Smart PSS and I do have another video demonstrating how to use Smart PSS so I'm not going to go and explain all these features. All I'm going to do is get right in and show you, you go to devices. Now you'll see I already have an NVR on my network but I want to add another one and this one just happens to be offline. So I go to the add button. Now if you wanted to you could use the search button and you could put the IP address range here but I find this very time consuming. So I already know the uh, IP address of my NVR. Now, what I want to show you is that I'm, I, as I said, I already know the IP address of my NVR, and it's 10, it's 10 0, 0, 2, 5, 1. And the username I know, and the password I know. Now, just showing you what this information is. Now, if you're familiar with the web login, this is Mozilla, and I'm using the web service login to my NVR. Can you see that I'm using the same IP address 10.0.0.2.5.1? Can you see there's my uh, username and then my password. Now if I log in to my NVR using the web interface, I put in the username and password and then the, the IP address of my NVR is sitting here. So this was set up previously. So I'm assuming you already have an NVR that was set up and all you want to do now is link it to your Smart PSS software. There's the IP address that we used or I used to set up my NVR previously. So I'm going to just um, close this now because I don't need that. So that is where I get this IP address. That is the IP address of the NVR and then the username and password to log in. Now I say save and continue. Now as you can see it's added this NVR host onto my network and there it is and it says it's online so now if I go to the home page and I want to now manipulate this NVR maybe I want to go and say playback then it's asking me which NVR do you want I have one there I have one there so as I said if this was in a large um, maybe in a hotel or uh, large company you would have many NVRs here and this software would allow you to manage all these NVRs now the point of this video is to show you how to download the video so I want to look at the videos called under the camera pool 2 so what I do is I tick I must tick the camera I was looking for and then on the bottom here it gives you the options of how to search for the time for example I can view video footage from the 1st of December, probably if I press the November, yeah, actually from the 29th of November, and then from the 1st, so I say I want to view videos from the 23rd, I'll click that and say OK, and then you can choose the time here as well. So let's choose 08, um, so 08, say 30, that's fine. So half past 8 in the morning on the 23rd of December and I want to view it until let's say 09 okay let's say 09 say to 9.30 okay now it will search for video footage between those two times that's when the incident took place that I want to now uh, review on the camera and you can see at the bottom it shows you where there was motion. Remember my setup is, is it only records on motion. I do not record all the time. Now here's going to be some challenges. The first one is you would have to manually download each one of these video packets or packages or videos and this could be quite time consuming. 
So what you can do is you can actually set it to download all of them at once. Now, now as I said, I've set the time from 8.30 to 9.30. So it's displaying that window of recordings in this uh, bottom uh, graph here. And you can see these are the available recording times. Now I want to see more of this. What I'm going to do is I go to event. Now it puts it in a list. Now I'm going to increase the display size. Now here's the list. You see, this is the, the nice feature here is it's better to see it in a list because you can now read it neatly and you can adjust these uh, columns. So it's asking me the it's asking me the um, device, yes, this is the device, the channel, yes, remember I wanted to do the pool, the recording type, but the more, most important thing is with the time of the recording. Remember, I went to from 8.30, so the first recording option was 8.32, and then it goes all the way to 9.21, and these are the duration of these videos, and this is the size of the video, so what I can do is now I can either check box all of them and download all of them or I can just checkbox selected items. Now say I checkbox all of them then what I'll do is then I will say save export settings and then it's asking me here how what format do you want and this is one of the reasons why I use the smart PSS because it has mp4 you can it also has AVI now, the original format is ASF, which is fine, but I find that I do run into problems on the playback, whereas MP4 and AVI are preferable. Now, you can tell it where you want it to download, and then I'm going to now start downloading all these files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the folder to which it's writing to. And it's giving you little status updates here one by one as it downloads these videos. Now here you can see the videos are being downloaded one by one. So to answer the title question is how do you download videos, recorded footage from the DAWA NVR using Smart PSS? I have now demonstrated that. And I've also demonstrated that you can use different formats. If I open this one, you can see it's an MP4 format. There it is. And it's going to add all the videos one by one. There are some limitations. It will only download 200 videos at a time. Maximum of 200. And it's just waiting for the last ones here. And that's, and that's it. And then if you want to see which it's already exported, sometimes it runs into errors. And then you'll, you can look on the exported list and there might be a red... Yeah, just saying failed so it's always good to just have a look and see which ones were actually exported and then what's nice is that it gives you the time and date stamp with each video and it tells you the size so that is actually how you download videos from the Dahua uh, software smart PSS thanks for watching